So we're continuing on with the tear down of the E27N. After pulling the cylinder head off in the last video, we're heading off to the fan, fan belt pulley, radiator pulley, the water pump, and the upper tank connector, which is this part here. As far as I can tell from the manual, that's what it's called. If there's another name for it, leave a comment. So how it's sitting now is how it sits on the tractor. So this upper part here is connected to the radiator. Bottles down. This part at the back with the impeller is on the cylinder head. There are four bolts holding it to the upper radiator. I was able to free those up. Now, as you can see, I was quite fortunate several years ago to pick up a heap of Ferguson parts and in there was a complete fan unit for an E27N with the original blue. You notice there is a difference, single pulley, two pulleys. Uh, I'll have a little look at that later on in the video but uh, it's made it quite useful for pulling it apart. Now the water pump shaft that comes through the unit and is connected to the fan belt was notorious for leaking. There was just some gland packing in there with a heap of use it would compact and water or coolant would start to drip through. So there's a pretty easy way to uh, tighten that up but eventually you are going to have to strip it down and replace the gland packing uh, after it's been compressed for too much. So I'm going to flip this over. It's going to make it easier for me to work with it. I don't want to risk cracking the fan, um, but it still should be straightforward. So bear with me for a second. All right. So connecting the fan blades to the pulleys is just four bolts. So I've already taken them out. The bolts come through from the back, through the back of the pulleys, and the nuts go on the front here. So this one's off. I'll pull it out. Oh, nice little bit. Once they're all off, it's just friction holding on the fan. So I'll gently pull it off. And that's our fan off. Now, a farmer favourite is to just pump a heap of grease in it to try and stop the water instead of adjusting the gland packing, which has happened here. So, I haven't been able to give it a degrease or a high pressure clean yet, but we'll keep talking through it. All right, undo that. There is a cotter pin through it. The impeller at the back. Now, I'll turn it sideways so this next part makes sense. I'll just fix that up. There we go. Alright, so we're looking at the fan belt pulley and the generator pulley if your tractor is fitted with a generator. Now, the interesting thing is to adjust the pulley to tension or slacken the fan belt is actually pulling the pulley apart and inserting or replacing little shims. So the manual says you never want the, see I've already pulled it apart there, it's coming apart, you never want the fan belt V touching the bottom there. And to adjust for slackness, you could uh, remove shims or add shims depending what you need to do. So quite stiff when I first got to it. I have to replace it because there is a chunk missing from there. Luckily, turns out I picked up a spare uh, unintentionally a few years ago. So we pull this off. That's that. One part of the pulley. Pull that next part off and the other part of the pulley. And in there, you can see a shim. So the other one would be in the grease on the other half of the pulley. 
but this one's obviously had some shims at it at some stage so they come off the generator pulley comes off as you can see previous owners have packed it with grease try and stop the leak now we're down to the unit so I'm just gonna adjust slightly so it's a little bit more clear all right grease cup I've already loosened that to come that up take that off so we're left with the impeller and impeller shaft when it's connected to the pulleys as the crank spins spins the belt fan and it spins the impeller on the water pump now this next part is where we have all our dramas so this here contains the gland packing I already pulled it out it's had a hard life with your tractor and it's fairly new and it starts to drip out what you could do is grab a uh, bit of brass rod a screwdriver if you've got nothing else and what you do is you would tighten this now remember we are looking at it upside down how it would be on the tractor but you tighten this it will work its way down the thread and it will compress that packing and hopefully stop the leak but eventually you're going to compress it to a point it can't be compressed anymore and it has to be replaced so off it comes there we go the impeller and shaft just come out now you can see there the packing goes in there and it's rounded so as you tighten it it compresses it in against the shaft and there's our water impeller Now, the other one I have is only a single. Had no generator, therefore no generator pulley. So same process. Bolts come off, fans come off, nut comes off, shaft can come out. shaft out pull it off single pulley again a little bit tight but no shims on this one so it's never been adjusted now interestingly enough we have two different machined faces on the belt pulley I don't know if it's just the difference between a dual pulley setup and a single pulley setup or whether one was machined earlier on and one was machined later again different amounts of finishing on the machining so one would have been quicker and easier unsure now with my Fordson I don't have a starter motor I don't have any lights I'm probably going to go with the single pulley and replace this damaged one so that's the e27n fan fan belt uh, water pump and how you adjust it for belt slackness and how to stop those little annoying drips that come out uh, of your water pump all right until the next one i know that was a long video but a fair bit to cover there and uh, we'll see what we do next.